ECD 131 Language Arts Reading Magic Parent Handout. I wanted to give you a few tips on the Reading Magic Handout for parents. You're going to create a handout that would be helpful for parents in enhancing their children's language skills. The handout is going to be based on the Reading Magic book that you read. So keep that in mind. You're going to refer back to the book to get your information for making this handout. Here are the requirements for the handout that you're going to make. You're going to make at least a two-page handout. It can be more if you need it to be more. You want to use publisher or word, and you're going to create a well-organized, visually appealing, and easy-to-read handout. These are some more requirements. You have an initial paragraph. So at the beginning, you're going to state the purpose of your handout to the parent so they know what the handout is about. And then you're going to have at least three language or literacy developmental milestones that you're doing at school. What are those things that are being supported at school? And provide how these milestones are being supported to enhance the children's development. How are you teaching these things at school? Then provide three ways that families can support these same milestones at home. What are some materials or activities they can do at home to support these same milestones? Provide three community resources and, and explain how these resources can benefit children's language and literacy development. Be very specific. Even though the resources may be good resources, make sure that they can benefit children's language development. More requirements include make sure that you have three fast facts or statistics related to the importance of reading aloud. Why is it important that you read aloud to children? You can Gain some of these sources online. Make sure that you give these sources, and those are going to be included at the bottom of your document. Once you finish all of your work, if you have two pages, put it at the bottom. If you have three pages, make sure you put it at the bottom of your third page. Provide at least three tips or suggestions for parents regarding reading aloud to children and ideas for parents to try with their children at home. So what do they need to do when they're reading aloud to children? Reading Magic tells a lot of good things for um, suggestions for parents for reading aloud. Make sure you include at least one clip art or graphic in your handout. Your document, of course, has to be typed and make sure it's free of grammatical and spelling errors. You're going to submit this through the Parent hand Handout Assignment link under Blackboard Assignments as an attachment. It could be a Word document, Publisher document, or a PDF document. And here's what it looks like on Blackboard. You can find it under your Assignments tab, or you can find it under the week in which it is due. Here are some examples from other students. These are some examples of initial paragraphs at the beginning. I'm not going to read all these to you, but on the left, this is one. She wrote it more like a letter, and she wrote, Dear Parents, and she talked about what her handout was going to be about. The other student wrote the purpose of this handout, and then she went on to write what the purpose of the handout was. So these are just some examples. These aren't perfect examples. They're just some examples to give you some ideas. Then these are some ideas about language and literacy development milestones, and also some ways families can support the same milestones at home. So remember, you have to do three of these. So, for example, um, they are supporting this milestone at school, phonomic awareness, and these are what they're doing. And then these are some ways that the family can support the same milestone. So the teacher is doing this at school, 
and then she gives some suggestions for what the family can do. And then on the right, they are identifying letters and matching letters with sounds. So this is what the teacher is doing at school. And then these are some ways that the families can support the same milestone at home. So this is what you will be giving, what you're doing at school, and then what families can do at home. Then you're going to give some community resources. And again, like I said, you were going to be telling how those resources benefit language and literacy development. These are the resources that this person selected. And she clearly explained why these resources are benefiting children's language and literacy development. Then here are some fast facts or statistics that are related to the importance of reading aloud. And the sources are cited. So you're not going to cite them underneath here as I did. I just gave you the examples here. You're going to put them at the end of your handout. But I put the sources here so that you could see the sources. So here are some things that they searched on the internet and found that studies talked about. And then they put their sources. But again, the sources are to be at the end of the paper. Then you're going to put some tips or suggestions for parents to try at home with their children. So here are some quick things that can be found in the Reading Magic book that parents should do, especially for those children who have a hard time listening to a whole story. Just look at the illustrations together, using hands-on activities with reading aloud, using props for the stories, and having different voices for each character. And I put a little note down here to remember your clip art. You need at least one clip art in your um, handout. So make sure that you put that in. You can definitely put more if you want to decorate it. These are examples. Of course, they are difficult for you to read. You can enlarge your page and try to read them. These are not perfect examples by any means. These are students who did very well on this at a different semester. But these are just some examples of what they did for their handout just so you can see. Here is a different example. There's turned out to be three pages so that they could fit everything on here. And then this is a third example of the parent handout. So they all had different approaches for how they did their handout. If you have questions, email me with any of your questions. If you start a rough draft, send it to me, to my email, prior to the due date, so I'll have time to look at it. You don't have to, but if you want to, you're welcome to do that. So please let me know if you have questions about the Reading Magic uh, handout. Please remember to use the information from the Reading Magic book so you can, um, that's the whole object of it, okay? All right, thanks so much. I hope this helps.